Plus, a live ball was a story for another day. The Alivo series has been a staple of the Irish primary school experience since before I was born, and the song lyrics is still engraved into my brain after all these years. That is absolutely not a complaint however, because Alivo provided our country with some of the most influential Christian music of all time. Alivo is a household name in the Emerald Isle, and it's hard not to feel a fond sense of nostalgia when we reminisce on the songs, videos and books. If you have no idea what an Alivo is, then you are completely uncultured and I feel sorry for you, but I'll be happy to educate you about the Alivo program. Alive O is a multimedia, interdisciplinary religious education series published by Veritas, which has been forcing religion, I mean, teaching religion, to Irish kids since 1996. I may have my complaints about Irish education, but I can safely declare that the Alive O multimedia package is a creative masterpiece. The whole objective of Alive O is to teach the Catholic faith in a way that is fresh, original and fun, using illustrations and videos and some of the most surprisingly catchy songs you will ever listen to. In my Healthy Harold video, I mentioned that the Life Education Company ran into some financial difficulties difficulties and funding issues before they were ultimately saved. And I'm beginning to sense a pattern here, because Veritas encountered similar problems in 2015 and 2016. According to this journal.ie article, Veritas relied on funding from Catholic bishops to stay afloat, but thankfully, they're still operating to this very day. Personally, I breathed a sigh of relief when I learned that the Alivo publishers were kept alive, but I'm kinda curious to see what the general public thinks about this issue. So how about we check out this journal.ie comment section? Because that's always a good idea. Never mind. Well, it appears that not a lot of other people understand the artistic value of Alive O as much as I do, but that's their loss, so let's just get back to our Alive O crash course. Alive O was a mandatory program for me when I was growing up. In recent years, Ireland has become slightly better at accepting the fact that other religions, aside from Christianity, actually exist but they're not quite there yet. I'm not sure if this is still the case, but when I was starting primary school, I was presented with two options. Either be a Catholic, or go fuck yourself. So if you wanted to actually, you know, go to school, you would have to partake in religious activities. But the Irish state knows that religious indoctrination, I mean, education, has to be fun. Hence the introduction of a live-o. Throughout the course of eight years in primary school, we would graduate to a brand new installment of Alive O every year, starting off with Alive O in Junior Infants, then Alive O 2 in Senior Infants, all the ways up to Alive O 8 in 6th class. If you ask me, Alive O 8 is an underwhelming finale, and it's definitely not the best entry in the series. In my opinion, the Alive O program peaked in the 4th edition, more commonly known as... Alive O 4. I could write a thesis about why Alive O 4 is the best in the series, but I'll try to keep it concise. Alive 04 is the book you study when you are in second class. And tell me, what significant religious event do you attend in second class? Your first Holy Communion. Look, Alive O is fairly consistent with the quality of his music throughout the series, but Veritas saved all their heavy hitting bangers for the communion edition of Alive O. Connected? Alive 04. My Shepherd is the Lord? Alive 04. Circle of Friends? Alive 04. Some of you may argue that Alive 08 is the confirmation edition of the series, which is just as important. But we all know that communions are far more memorable, you make more money, and confirmations just feel like a lackluster sequel. When I was preparing for my communion, Alive 0 was our number one resource, but I recently learned that some primary schools opted for something slightly different, and this series is known as Bioga Joe. To put it quite simply, it's basically just the Irish translation of Alive O, used primarily by Gwilskulls. Look, I have a lot of respect and appreciation for the Irish language, and I think it deserves to be treated much better, but I just don't think that Bioga Joe holds a candle to the original. My Gwilgor friends' contratainment and old child support may beg to differ, but let's be real, Alive O's songs are superior and more iconic in their original English form. But I wouldn't consider Bioga Joe as the antagonist to Alive O, because there is a far more heinous common enemy. Most of my viewers probably do not know this, but I have to break the news at some point in this video. Both Alive O and Bioga Joe are dead. My generation of primary school students took them for granted when we used them back in the good old days, but I recently learned that they have both been completely phased out in favour of a brand new religious education series by Veritas called Grow in Love. Alive O officially met its inevitable demise at the beginning of the current academic year, so Alive O and Bioga Joe are now extinct in primary schools. Grow in Love is the new kid on the block, but this new kid stinks. My younger sister showed me her current Grow in Love book, and I was not impressed. It doesn't have the charming art style that Alive O is known for, and it completely lacks any iconic songs. I'm having a lot of trouble processing the fact that there are other religious education series aside from Alive O, and some people just don't believe in it as much as I do. 
I don't understand why everybody can't just enjoy Alive-O and pretend that Grow and Love doesn't exist, because Alive-O is the religious education series that I believe in. So I am just going to ignore Grow and Love and everybody who believes in it, and we're just going to focus on some Alive-O songs instead. The true selling point of the Alive-O program is the stellar soundtrack. If you ever feel like binging Alive-O songs at 3am, there's a YouTube channel called Alive-O Song Memories where you can listen to dozens of songs from Alive-O 4, 6 and 7. The Alive-O soundtrack thrives off the sheer variety of music. We've got some emotional slow paced gems such as The Lost Sheep and Cade Mila Falter Road, but there's also some cheerful bops like Connected and Within God's Creation if your playlist is getting dry. Additionally, there's a club remix of Circle of Friends on YouTube, so you can check that out if you enjoy religious EDM. You fucking weirdo. When my class was preparing for a communion in primary school, we would practice these songs religiously. My class would always get in trouble for singing in the wrong key and mumbling the lyrics, because we clearly did not have an appreciation for real music back in the day. But I now regret not being passionate enough when we had to sing Circle of Friends for the entire local community. Alivo songs are almost universally adored in this country, irrespective of religious beliefs, but a lot of people tend to forget about the books. I love Come Holy Spirit, This Is The Day, and Connected as much as the next guy, but an Alivo retrospective video would not be complete if I didn't talk about Alivo workbooks. My girlfriend supplied me with a bunch of her old Alive-O books, which I was incredibly grateful for, but she couldn't find Alive-O 4, so she can stay in here. Alive-O workbooks are a lot less academic than the main textbooks, mainly involving fun activities relating to the lessons. We'll start off with the original Alive-O and see where it all began. There's a big emphasis on colouring in this one, which makes sense considering that it's the Junior Infants book. For the same reason, I'm going to give Sophie a pass on her subpar colouring skills for the most part, but I need to have a long conversation with her about this. Worksheet 14 asks the student what present they would like to give to the baby Jesus. And obviously Sophie wasn't feeling too generous, so I think I'll give him a little present. And here's some decorations for the stable. There's also a few short prayers in here that you can say before and after dinner. I think this is actually a pretty nifty idea, so I might say this at my next meal. Bless the hands that made the food. Bless us, O oh God. Amen. Where are you and what are you doing in our house? Alive 2 has a surprisingly dedicated niche fanbase due to its unique theme song. My friends Dorothy and Killian strongly believe that it's the best entry in the Alive O series, but I just open it up and I'm not too convinced. I'm probably going to upset both members of the Alive 2 fan club by saying this, but this one is pretty forgettable and it does not hold up against other entries in the series. We now have to skip directly to Alive 5, an adequate but mediocre Alive installment which failed to exceed the standards set by the communion edition that preceded it. I know that it doesn't compare to Alive 4, but I'm willing to to give it a fair shot, so let's check it out. What the f is this? Alright, so that wasn't a great first impression, but I find this activity here pretty amusing. During first term, we will leave no one out. Ah, but in second term, they're on their own. In this lesson, Sophie declared what she was giving up for Lent. Oh man, fizz cola disobedience, everybody's favourite drink. She also said that she would stop being bold. Well, she certainly learned her lesson. Hey look, Alive O predicted Tropic Tours. In conclusion, there are a few decent lessons in this book, but Alive O 4 is objectively superior, so let's just put this book where it belongs and move on to the penultimate Alive O. This one is just hilarious right off the bat. I don't know who Sophie has been texting lately, but they have been having some fucked up conversations. Elijah listened for the Lord. Don't disobey your parents. Whom shall I send, said the Lord. Don't bully people. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Now this is where it actually starts to get kinda concerning. This anonymous person sent an incoherent message which I'm pretty sure was supposed to say, I knew you before you were born. This message really says a lot about our society. What really annoys me about it is the double standards. And let's just see what happens if I send a creepy message like that. I knew you before you were born. Every time! Sophie also had to draw and name all the locked doors in her life. Well, I can name one. That's about it for Alive 07, so let's move on to this confirmation workbook. Sophie isn't exactly giving me a lot to work with here, but there's a pretty interesting assignment on the previous page. You have to imagine that you're writing a letter to your bishop, and I think I might actually do this for real because I've got some... unfinished business. Uh, to whom it may concern, I understand that I was recently excommunicated from the church, but I would like to offer a sincere apology for the text message I sent you earlier today. I promise it will not happen again, and if you would be so kind as to allow me back into the church, I will attend Mass every other Sunday to compensate for my sins. Uh, P.S. You should tell all the local senior citizens to receive communion by hand during Mass. I do not like it when you put the body of Christ directly on their tongues. That's pretty cringe if you ask me. From PKMX. 
That stands for Prayers Keep Me Extremely Happy. Godspeed. I think that's pretty good. So I've pretty much covered all these workbooks. But you know how I'm an idiot? And you know the way I shouldn't have financial independence? Well, I may or may not have ordered an Alive 08 textbook from the Veritas website. Alive 08 textbooks are very information based, especially from Alive 05 and upwards. It's mostly boring text on the inside, but the cover is really cool. If you open it up, the artwork continues on the back cover and it's uh... Oh. Oh no. I was kind of disappointed when I started flicking through the book, but it's my own fault for consciously spending 12 99 on this. Hey look, they translated the Ten Commandments. Oh, you shall not steal means do not steal. Now they tell me. When a new baby is born, the family rejoices. Yeah, I think my parents may have something to say about that. The Alive Away textbook did not live up to expectations, but guess what? That was not my only investment. We all remembered the excitement of a TV on a cart being rolled into the classroom, because that meant we were about to be treated to some Alive Away goodness. So I have decided to revisit those memories. Audiovisual content is an integral aspect of the Alivo program, so I felt like it was necessary to cover Alivo DVDs in this video. You are all in for a treat, because we're about to go downstairs and we're going to watch this together. Well here we are. We're about to watch this Alivo 8 DVD, but here's a quick little disclaimer before I begin. There's a big copyright message on the back cover, and to that I say, Veritas, I will be playing some very small portions of your content for the purpose of comedic commentary, satire and critique, all of which are protected under the guidelines of fair use policy. Now, I am fully aware that the EU has no tolerance for fair use with the whole Article 13 directive, but the way I'm using these short clips is completely transformative, so Veritas, if you intend on giving me a copyright claim for this video, please do not waste your time, you'll probably be bankrupt in a few years anyway. Uh, that's enough legal talk now, so let's just jump into it. Well, I was absolutely not expecting that. We're 15 seconds in, and I feel like I just had a seizure. Uh, so far, this DVD is a live O on acid, but it's supposed to play some classic songs from a live O. Shut up, Rufus. But it's supposed to play some classic songs from a live O4, so I'm willing to give it a shot. Hey, hey, you poo -poo, I am special. Aww. They made a song for old child support. I am special, so are you. What do you mean, I am special, so are you? I just got roasted by the Livo soundtrack. I was trying to play a game, Finchie, but I just can't play it on my own. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare like this before. The hardest thing about juggling is the frustration. The frustration of every day having to practice and stuff. Alright, I think I might have purchased the wrong DVD because I was kind of expecting religious education and I've been watching juggling tutorials for the past 10 minutes. So now we've jumped from juggling into vandalism. Because there's nothing more gangster than a live old graffiti. Oh great, more juggling tutorials. With two balls. So I just went through the rest of the DVD myself, and there's about 40 minutes of boring garbage, so we're gonna end this segment here. I would not recommend you to buy this product, I wasted my money on this Alivo 8 DVD, so you wouldn't have to. I honestly remember Alivo videos being much more entertaining than that, so this was a huge disappointment. It was still better than watching an old child support video, so at least it has that going for it, but I would give this Alivo 8 DVD a 0 out of 10. Yeet! In conclusion, I think it's fair to say that Alive 04 carried the series. Alive 02's only redeeming quality is its theme song, nobody remembers Alive 05, and Alive 08 is just an embarrassment to its family. A bit like myself. In saying that, Alive 0 has a special place in my heart. Especially Alive 04. Alive 0 was a primary school highlight for millions of Irish children, and it may be gone now, but instead of being sad because it's over, let's all just smile because it happened, and let's keep its legacy alive. Oh. Before I end this video, it looks like I got a letter back from the bishop, so let's see what it says. Uh, dear PKMX, this is a response from Bishop Shapiro's legal team. We have received numerous complaints about your recent behaviour, and we will be notifying the Gardaí immediately. The date of your court hearing is yet to be confirmed. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Send a police officer to my house again? Anyways, the video is over. 
Go in peace and serve the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. BKMX, come out with your hands up. Oh, come on! Here's a little lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. If you want to be a villain number one, you have to chase a superhero on the run. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Thank you.